Hello, here I am. <laughs> Just dropped in from doing the last broadcast in Terry's tribe. And uh, yeah, so today is a very, 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 very special broadcast. I'm Terry Harden, Disney Imagineer, and uh, I have been working, pardon me, I have been working very, very hard on the hitch on my hitchhiking ghost sets. Now, welcome YouTube. As you know, I've only been broadcasting simultaneously on YouTube for about a month, maybe two. And those of you of YouTube who walk in and say, what is this about? Today, this is very special. This is about the hitchhiking ghosts, okay? So I am not gonna delay too much. I'm not gonna talk about other things because I want you, I may talk about other things at the end, but I want you to be able to see this and share this with anyone who may need to, uh, who may want the ghosts. I don't want anybody to miss out, okay? So I am setting it up right now. First of all, I'm gonna give you a little bit of history. Two years ago, my team and I were suggested by all of you, by especially one of you in particular, Joshua Schaefer, who has the right to have purchase number one. That's what happens when you suggest a character for me to sculpt. Should we do it, you get the rights to number one. Doesn't mean I'm going to give it to you, but you get to purchase number one. Everybody wants number one. These are limited to 100, and they will go fast. This is not a marketing tip. This is because once you see these, these are going to dazzle you. I have never worked on something so hard and it's been so challenging since Dragon's Lair Paris. So I'm so excited to introduce to you the Hitchhiking Ghost. So without further ado, let me just show you some of the ghosts. And I'm going to go the history first, okay? So just bear with me. Okay, we're going to do the picture and picture and we're going to jump on over to my iPad. So I started doing the hitchhiking ghosts out of a Chavant clay and I wanted to create a different kind of pose because I wanted you to be able to see everything I do is by hand. My team builds this by hand. The additions are very small as a result. We have no manufacturer, just four people getting together, making magic. So I hope that you will fall in love with them and are as proud of them as much as I am to show them to you. So you'll notice from here, he had this funny kind of a stance that I wanted, but I didn't like it. Something was wrong. So I changed and you'll notice now he has his legs together in the, to his right, to Ezra's right is the beginnings of Gus. And this is how we, I kind of sculpted them all together because I wanted their heights to be. And here he is finished in the clay. Now my ghosts will illuminate so usually what happens is I introduce to you a sculpted piece, but the piece is hand painted. Last one was Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and he spun, but these are different. Okay, whoops. Here is Gus. So here's the little close up of Gus. You'll notice that I added a chain here and the ball. Okay, and here he is from the side and the back. So Gus is kind of showing you that there's motion. I like to have motion. So what happens when you get the ghosts? The first thing you do is you get a custom box. Now this custom box has this drawing I did of the ghosts on the top. And I'm not gonna show you the whole box cause there's gotta be some surprises, right? But this is what you would see when you see the custom box. And there they are. These are the hitchhiking ghosts. Let me point out something about them. First of all, they are individual, not sold individual. I'm only going to sell them in a set. But what you wanted, you haunted mansion collectors out there, is you wanted them to be separate. You wanted to be able to tuck them into your levels of your, of your shelves amongst your collection as though they were the happy-go-lucky, silly, haunted mansion hitchhiking ghosts that you all know and love. So I sculpted them separately. I sculpted them so that you can put them together. 
I designed them so that you can put them together if you are one of those people that wants to put them together or you can separate them out and I will illustrate for you. So this is natural lighting. This is the way you would see them when you open the box. There is a little bit of a light on them, but you know, when you open your box, you're not opening them in the dark. So you open them and this is what you would see. This is the front on of what you would see. So you see they have kind of a ghostly sort of uh, a frosty look. That is their look when the lights are off and they are not illuminated. Illuminated meaning that there's a light inside them, but it's not acid reflux light. It's not a light bulb light like this. It's not that, okay? <laughs> it is illumination, all right? So here is lit from outside. You open the box. This is what they look like, okay? This is what they look like with the lights on and light. So you're in your living room or you're in your, 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 wherever you open boxes, you open it up and you see them and then you pull them out and you turn them on. So for example, here is Gus. And I know I'm in a tiny little picture. What I'll do is I'll jump over here and I'll show you him. Here he is and see how he's kind of got that little glow. Then you turn him on. All right. Here, because the camera isn't strong enough to show you the sensitivity of the eye, your eyeball, it doesn't look very, it looks too hot in these areas. So that's why we show you these pictures because this is what your naked eye actually sees, okay? Lights inside the body and lights on. Here's what they look like when you turn all the lights out. Are you ready? Yay! Okay, I'm excited. I'm going to even zoom in on these a little bit. Here they are. Here they are. Oh my goodness. Let me just push them up a little bit. Look at these guys, guys. Now, I want you to notice something very, very special. Something I worked hard on with my team. My team worked hard on too. Okay? So difficult. I've been doing these for, we've been doing this for over two years trying to figure this out. And there they are illuminating. Do you see how they look like they are floating in space? Do you see that the light is in some areas soft, some areas warmer, some areas a little bit dark and mysterious? Because that's a ghost, isn't it? Isn't a ghost like not all harsh white? Not all harsh color, but sort of an ethereal illumination. That's what I wanted. This is what you got. This is little specters. These are little specters standing by themselves. Now, would I stop there? No, because Terry doesn't stop there. If you don't know me, uh, I'm telling you right now, Terry doesn't stop there. Okay? Truth be told. Okay? Okay. So now I'm going to show you what they look like on the shelf because I used my shelf where I display a lot of my artwork that I have created and I tuck the ghosts in there to illustrate for you how you might tuck them on a shelf of your own. Okay, if you're a avid Haunted Mansion collector, this next picture is for you. Let me bring him down so I can carry it over. Oh, <laughs> I always did that. I did that this morning too. This is the lighting system. So you can see from the front, you cannot see the lighting system, but this is the lighting system. And when you get this, you're going to be very impressed. Uh, a good friend of mine, Liz Reed out of the UK, she showed me a brand new set of hitchhiking ghosts that were just introduced from Disneyland Paris. As you know, that's where I designed the Dragon Slayer, one of my favorite parts. They took a purple light that you can see clear as the day and shined it up on their sculptures of the ghost, which are all together on a brick platform okay one of the reasons many people put them together is because if you're going to turn a light on you need that area to light them up you got to power it somehow and so separating them is challenging i know because we just did it so here is the lighting system you're going to see that we did a special thing you remember those old time theaters where they had the gas lights in the front and if you were in the audience they had a protector same deal here, same deal here. 
So we did that so that the first thing you don't see is ah, light. Because it's not about the lighting system. It's about the illuminating ghost. Now we're going to put them on the shelf for you. There they are. Now look at this carefully, guys. Here, the light is on inside my shelf. And you can see the edge of the platform for each ghost. But when you turn the lights out, I guarantee you, in the pitch dark, they are floating on their own. But take a look at this. You can almost see through Professor Phineas, my my um, Peter Pan flying ship in the back, or behind Ezra, my Tigger and Skipper doll. Okay, so they are translucent. They do illuminate. They are. They're amazing. They are amazing. And I am so happy that I got them, <laughs> that we did it. You know, if you're an artist out there, I said today to my tribe as well, if you're an artist out there and you're just working on something and you're working on something and you just are scared that you're not going to be able to deliver what you promised. And then all of a sudden, you know, some uh, the, 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 everything comes together and it just creates, this is it guys, this is it. And I am really excited to share it with you. Okay, so here they are on the shelf. Here they are on your shelf. Again, you'll notice that they're all sort of together. So I took another picture just for you so that you could see. Let me bring them down because you know iPads get cranky. Here you go. So what are you looking at here? You are looking at them on three different shelves. And you notice that they are floating. They are floating in each shelf tucked among your collection. They are that awesome. They are that awesome. With them, you're going to get the custom box, as I said, and you will also get, uh, I'd love to zoom in on this. Let me see if I can. My, my, my iPad was a little cranky today. But there you can see Gus. See all the detail in his face? Now, remember the Hallmark ornaments. Remember I said I thought they looked like they had acid reflex because the heads didn't light up? All the way through, guys, that was my mission. It's not that Hallmark did anything wrong. They didn't. That is a cute little sculpture, and I love the music. What happened was you have to work a little harder, which makes them more expensive because there's only a 100 of these guys, a 100 sets, period, and then they're gone. I have to make everything work. I need the face to illuminate. I must have everything to illuminate that ghostly glow. Look at that ghostly glow. Look at that face. You love it, right? I'm just, I know, I know. You're going to look at this. If you've not known me before, you're going to say, this girl is on, you know, it's tea, really. But what it really is, is adrenaline because mission accomplished and for imagineer i've been i've been working with disney for over 30 years off and on come here come here get away get away imagineer design the dragon's lair you some of you do know my history some of you don't but the thing about me is i'm tenacious i'm aggressive and i don't give up and sometimes things get in front of you this is one of them that made me feel like i i just didn't know i just didn't know and i was there were nights of just I can't say, I can't. I've got you guys out there and I wanted to deliver this. So I was just like, eh, so excited and I hope you are too. I hope you are too. So I'm going to give you a sneak piece and what else you, what else you get in that box. I hand drew, so everything is by hand. Each and every one of these ghosts is put together with the loving care of us by hand. Okay. And uh, you get three ghosts in the set, and I'm only selling them in the set. I also do a certificate of authenticity. So for you that have bought my, who have my work in your collection, you know I always do a little certificate of authenticity. And it's usually a photo, so a little bit of history about me, and then a picture of the box. Not this time. But I will show you, I wanted to create the experience of a haunted ghostly glow. And on Terry's Tribe, I got to work with one of the most amazing artists that I think is out there, Chris McCulley, who is a comic books 
he writes this he writes story he's brilliant with story he's brilliant with inking he's brilliant yeah so he actually didn't work with me like terry draw this terry draw that but what he did do is we did a uh, a, a project together and from working with him i became a better illustrator sculpting is my jam but drawing is fantastic and i'm going to show you the certificate of authenticity i hand designed everything in here yes i did it on an ipad and i did it digitally but i hand drew everything i did the lettering i came up with the background i did the thing on the side and if you're out there saying what if you're an amazing illustrator and to you you just kind of burp this up understand i don't i am three-dimensional so to do this in two-dimensional allow me to pat myself on the back for a little bit <laughs> okay <laughs> i just am really proud of myself because this this seeing this come out of my hands was quite exciting which is why i urge you to work with us or to join the tribe and be with us because we can help you get here you know, if, you know, if you keep an open mind and an open heart and somebody gives you some advice, don't be offended. They're, they're trying to help you. And this is the, the, the difference. So look at my little ghostly, ghostly skeletons that are on the bottom. I'm so proud of them, but I'm really, really proud of my Raven. I'm really proud about my Raven because I don't draw like this. If you've seen some of my illustrations, they're usually a, a stepping stone to get to the ghosts, which is why today I wanted to explain to you I wanted to show you this. So you can see it's a classic. I've picked the fonts. I've designed the border, everything, but it looks like an old piece of parchment. It will, it's a card, so it won't come as a piece of parchment. I want you to have something heavy, but it's suitable for framing. And that comes in the box with the, with the ghosts. Now, I've shown you the ghosts. I've shown you the beauty of the ghosts. I told you my blood and bone of myself and my team has gone into the ghosts for over two years. Why is this? Well, we're going to take a couple of these ghosts and I'm going to show you and then I'm going to tell you the cost. Well, actually, let me just tell you what they're pricing. Now, for many of you, you were begging me because you wanted to save your pennies up to afford these. And I gave a ballpark figure, but I told you don't hold me to it. And I, I'm glad if you if you didn't because they turned out to be a lot more work than I anticipated, which is why I don't usually do a uh, ballpark bid. I'm usually too low, too low, and this time I was too low. Because I was too low, I have created something very special for you. Okay, so here it is, and uh, here we go. There we go. Okay. I don't know why I put what I put there, but anyway, let's get to the nitty gritty. Here you are. So I have been the, for the first time in the history of me and my uh, sculptures created a three different three level payment plan. And the reason I did this is because I know there's people out there that really, really want them, but won't be able to lay down the chunk all at once and I get that okay and I understand that so let me explain what you're looking at here if you pay in full and the, the pre-sale will be announced Friday I will say time to pre-sell your go to pre-purchase your ghosts if you want a ghost and you have not yet told me I've already sold over 50 or over 50 have been reserved okay over 50 have been reserved and there's only 100. Now, will all 50 people order? I would say yes. But if they don't, of course, you'll be on a waiting list. And if a number comes up over the 100 promised, then you will then be first in line to get it. But now that the prices have been told, what I want you all to do is if you've reserved a ghost, pick a plan, think about it. You don't need to let me know now. You only need to let me know Friday. So think about it for this week, okay? And then Friday, I will say, go here and pick a plan and reserve your ghosts and start your payment, okay? Because the payments will tell me how many of you are committed and we will then start production. 
We're not going to start production before they are pre-sold. And the reason being, because I kept, I cut close to the bone on this one, guys, in order to keep the price as reasonable as I could. Really, if you take a look at the levels, you'll see what they really should have cost. So how is this working? If you pay in full, they're $999. <laughs> that saves you a lot because you're paying in one lump sum. But I understand if you can't, we have the three-month plan, which means that you pay for three months, and it says what months, October, November, December, and you pay for those months, and then at the end of those months, you get your ghosts. So $999, you're going to obviously be first run of ghosts, and we're looking for a December release, okay? Probably mid-December, but a December release. I will then ask you to let me know if it's imperative that you get them in December, or are you okay to wait till the following year? It, I'm not expecting you to wait. I'm thinking you want them right away, and I will get them to you right away. Three-month plan is $400 a month beginning this month, and then December, and again, a December release. Those are the two levels where we will be able to give you a December release. We are pretty sure we can do it, okay? And finally, the six-month plan. This plan is so I hope as many of you as possible can still find it in your budget to get these if they mean that much to you, okay? I've never done this before, but you can see that $250 a month for six months, and then it shows you the total. So they were actually should have been sold at $1,500 a set, but rather than do $1,500 a set and you all go, ah! I worked really hard all weekend, in fact, because you know me in math. Well, if you don't, uh-uh. I must have worked, reworked, recrunched, called my son, who's a doctor and uh, really is great in math. And I, I, I bounced the numbers off of him. I bounced numbers off of people so that I could make sure my husband was sitting with me. And all through the weekend, we crunched and crunched and crunched and crunched so that I can do this for you and not get taken to the cleaners myself. There will be tax, there will be shipping, and shipping is gonna be about $14 in the US. If you live in the UK, we can make another arrangement. You let me know if you want them, if you're out of the United States and you want them shipped to you, we can make another arrangement, okay? Uh, they, I can let you know how much they would cost if you want them shipped to you, or we, I can hold, you know, we can work something out. So if you're in, if you're not in the United States, basically the 48 states is what I'm talking about, we can work something out, okay, for your shipping. But basically, those are the prices. That's how it works. Three different levels. So what is your job? Your job is to determine, A, if you are on my list, do you want to stay on my list and which plan would you like to uh, go with? Okay, if you're not on my list and you want to be on my list, get with me, private message me, post it in the comments. I will then send you, uh, it's best if you message me because, uh, or you can write me and uh, let me show you where you can write me. You can write me at my website. Let me just go to my banner and show you, okay. So there's my website, and then to reach out to me is terry at terryharden.com, okay? Reach out to me, and I will send you the numbers that are available. You pick one. And then Friday, you just you can decide in the middle, but reserve it now. Just grab it. Even if you Friday you decide, oh, I thought I could afford it, but now uh, my budget says no, at least you have the opportunity. And I'm leaving this up so you can kind of think and look, okay? And now I'm coming off of it. This is so important, so very important. Uh, reach out to me. I will be uh, presenting in other groups, other people. Usually what happens is there's an amazing group of people called the Disney Anna Fan Club, and yesterday would have been their day that I'm sitting in person where you could have walked up to me, you could have held the ghosts, and you could have examined the ghosts, and you could have turned them on and turned them off and actually see with your eyes 
but because of COVID, we couldn't do that. So I would love it if you would share with anyone who I may have missed. Because if, if you know me, this is what I've been stressing about, is how can I make this work, okay? How can I make sure that people um, are all getting notified that want the ghosts? I just want you to know about it. Your decision is your decision. But I don't want anyone to miss out because I haven't been able to reach out to them. And uh, so I, a lot of um, places are uh, assisting me and helping me to get the word out. And I want to thank you all, uh, you social media guys, for and everyone here sharing this video to people who might want to have these little ghosts. Now let me show you how they work. You will see here, I'm going to put another light on. This Gus is going to be the illustrator. And um, see the base is thick. It's a bit thick, but like I said, when you place it in and you turn the lights, you saw it for yourself. Uh, let me put my picture in picture again. There you go. You saw it for yourself that they disappear. But the reason the base is so big and chunky is because I, the two years prior to this, we were going to use a little battery. We were thinking of using those little, you know, nickel batteries, those nickel that look like a nickel. They're a pain in the butt though, wouldn't you say, trying to find them? So what I wanted to do was to do three double A battery. So as you can see here, this is how it works. So you three batteries power each ghost, but it's triple A batteries. How easy are they for you to get? That's what I want. I want it, it to be simple, right? For you to get the batteries. And guess what? I'm including the batteries in there. And guess what? No cheesy batteries. We're going to do Duracell batteries. Why? Because you are worth it. So here's how the bottom works too. I want it to be simple. So you can see there's this little disc, and I don't know if you can read it, probably not, but it says lock, and it has an arrow, and then it has open, and it has an arrow. So it's really a no-brainer. You're not going to worry about breaking anything because it's a simple twist. And then when you get to, Professor Phidias is going to help us again, when you get to this, you can you notice, and here, this is a, a art proof. So all of this scary stuff that you're looking at in here is because it's an art proof and what is an art proof it's the thing i work on so that your stuff is perfect or you know pristine let me say pristine because i i you know there's always room for improvement i'm sure so here are the batteries they are triple a this will protect you so you don't have to worry about messing with any of the lighting or the mechanisms in there I will have a uh, workings guarantee. I haven't come up with what that is yet, and it's not because uh, I'm not going to have one and I don't know what it, but but I want to talk to my team first. But understand, they are they are just marvelous and so pretty. And uh, and this, this kind of gives you an idea of their size because with the photograph, you couldn't tell. So they are in my impressions line. Understand this is a super califragilistic sculpture, okay? Not all my sculptures are gonna be like this one. Not all my sculptures, and I'm gonna hold them with that little background there. Not all of them are gonna be this elaborate. But for two years, you guys have been asking for me, when am I gonna get these out? When am I gonna get these out? When am I gonna get these out? And I finally can say, now's the time, okay? So again, Please share this with anyone and everyone that you think that you can. And, um, and uh, yeah, please share with everyone that you think. Uh, I'm actually in double here, aren't I? There you go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm just, I'm just elated with these guys. I just love them. So, uh Ezra is, is, is off to the side there, but I will show you here. I'm going to go grab Ezra real quick so that you can see them together. They're going to separate for Ezra, and we will uh, give you Ezra. They are so beautiful. There you go. So like I said, and my camera is a little bit, um, it's not really helping you to see the base but uh, I will lift there see so they do they can be together or they can be apart see so you can make them go this way because my name's up there 
go this way, they can be apart. See, that was because that's what you asked for. You asked, Terry, can they be apart? There they are, apart, okay? Or together, if you have your heart set on putting them together. Or you can do this, or you can do this. They're magnificent. They are the Cadillac of your Hitchhiking Ghost collection if you're someone who collects Hitchhiking Ghosts, okay? Just saying, just saying, all right? So I am going to do something that I don't usually do, guys, and that is I love to read your comments at the end, but I want you to share this video and I want it to be completely focused on the Hitchhiking Ghosts on Contact me via messenger or email me at terry at terryharden.com at my website. Uh, let me pop that up again. My website, there it is. You can go there and you can hit me up on an email or you can just write to terry at terryharden.com to reach out to me or you can private message me, okay, on Facebook. All right, or you can leave... I want one in the comments with your contact. You know, let me know how to contact you. I don't think you want to put a phone number or anything in there, but uh, you can give me a shout out, okay? That way you can catch me on uh, Instagram. Just do whatever it takes to get a hold of me and get your, your ghost reserve if you want one, all right? And, uh, and that's what the, that's, that's the deal right there. YouTubers, thank you so much, YouTube people, for um, reaching out and, and for watching me today. But I am going to sign off because of this. And then on Friday, we will go back to reading your comments. I'm going to read your comments off the air today because I want you to be able to share this and make this, as I said before, exclusively about the ghosts. And before I go, um, I want to show you one more time the pricing so that you let me get that terryharden.com out of there she can see everything um you can look at the pricing and then you can decide what level you want to do i will then on friday announce that the pre-sailing is open and where you go to reserve the number that you chose okay so i want to thank you today i know this is kind of a weird one but these ghosts are so important that I get them to the people that need, that want them. And uh, I hope you like them and I hope you love them. And I'm so proud of them. And next time, guys, we will, uh, Friday will be the AMA. So we'll go long as we usually do. So if you want to sit and go long, you, we can. Today is a very special one. So they ask me anything will be Friday. I'll go long. Uh, uh, I'm happy to answer your questions. Just post them in the comments below. And, uh, and I hope you love the ghosts. I hope you love them. Let's give you one more. Uh, there's the certificate. One more shot of them glowing in the cabinet. They can be yours. I'm so proud of them. My heart is beating like a rabbit right now. Sometimes you create something. I mean, it's one thing to get with a manufacturer and sort of oversee it. But these have all been done with my very own little hands. My tools touch the clay. My team has done is doing the molding and the finishing. We're doing it all, which is why uh, I had to. I had to do. You know, which is why the it is what it is, right? So um, I love you guys. Do something nice for other people, and I will see you on Friday. And keep playing this over and over if you are having trouble making a decision. Play it and then just decide. Know that in my heart, I'm going to make them absolutely supercalifragilisticexpialidocious for you. You are in my head and in my heart. Ever I am creating a collectible for you. I love you guys, and I will see you Friday. Bye for now.